My name is Madam Beatrice and today I'm taking you through grade 3 mathematics lesson and today's topic is relationship between multiplication and division and in this topic we are dealing with number families you remember in grade 1 and 2 we learned about uh, number families involving addition and uh, subtraction so in grade 3 you learn number families involving multiplication and division so the signs that we are learning now are multiplication and division so in this number family you'll have a family of 12 3 and 4 so if you say 3 times 4 equals 12 it's also correct to say 4 times 3 equals 12 so in every multiplication sum there is an opposite division sum so if you have 12 divide by box is equals to uh, 3 and 12 divide by box is equals to 4. So we say these are number families and 12, 3 and 4 are related. So in this sum we have 12 divide by box equals 3. So in this far, in this sum you have 3 is there, 12 is there, so the missing member of that family or number in that family is 4. You do not calculate. You just look with your eyes and fill in. The next one you have 12 divided by box equals 4. So the missing number in this far number family uh, is, we have 4, we have 12, so the missing one is 3, so here you fill 3. 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and 12 divided by 3 equals 4. And that's our example 1. We go on to our example 2. You would have 9 times 3 equals 27. 27. Now, if you get, this is a family of 9, 3, and 27. So, and in every multiplication sum, there is an opposite division sum. So, you have 27 divided by 3 equals, you can also have here 27 divided by by 9 equals now in this family we have three numbers in this family we have 9 3 and 27 so if 9 times 3 equals 27 it's correct to say 27 divided by 3 equals 9 because they are related then it's also correct to say 27 divided by 9 equals 3. You are not supposed to calculate. You just look at the family and find which one is the missing, the missing number in that family and fill in there. The next example, you can have 5 times 6 is equals to 30. And in this case, uh, your sum might be represented like this. It could be spiral like that. And I have another one there. Uh, so you have 30 uh, divide by 5 equals equals then you can have another one. We can have our pattern there like that. 
have the pattern there like that and here you have 30 divide by 6 equals I'll write my equals there so in this sense when we talk about number families we do not calculate we look at the family and the family changes with every uh, problem or every sum has different members for this particular one we have 5, 6 and 30 and every multiplication problem has an opposite division problem. So 5 times 6 equals 30. It's correct to say 30 divided by 5 equals 6. That is 30 divided by 5 equals the missing number of that family which is 6 and here you write 6. And it's also correct to say 30 divided by 6 equals, you have 30 here, one member of that family, 6 here, the other member of that family, and the missing member of this family is 5, and therefore the answer is 5, and that's the correct answer. And that brings us to the end of our lesson, relationship between multiplication and division which is also known as number families.